So this is my 2005 Subaru Forester. As you can see, it's had absolutely nothing done to it other than this flappy thing and a fucked wheel. But we like to have some fun with it and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So after a quick modification to the exhaust system, we end up with this. After that was done, it was time for some fun in the mud. I've slept in the Forester a number of times now and decided it's not good enough, so I hopped in my Hilux and decided to do something about it. So after getting to Maxville, I swapped my Hilux for another Subaru Forester, but this time it's a little different. As you can see, half of it is missing because in fact it is a camper trailer and I'm just showing the fancy 17 inch rims and it's got a spot for LPG tank which I'll be using later. There's the drawbar set up with its hydraulic brake, a couple standoff jacks for legs and as you can see it's quite a work in progress. Still got the door cards but quite a lot to go back in here. I'm just coming around to the back. So all this metal frame is going to come out and the original floor is going back in. There's the solar charge controller and the battery. And, yeah. and with that, it was time to pull out the angle grinder. using the cordless wasn't the greatest idea. Fuck! After borrowing my 5 inch grinder from work, we were getting somewhere. Another piece out. A lot more to go. Alright guys, little update. So I've managed to start to get this side all taken down. And I went to cut through that and the one on the other side. But the problem is, my my grinder wheels aren't big enough. So I just popped over to the neighbours and they um, gave me a lend of this bad boy. So we'll, we'll hack that out and then get it all prepped up ready for the floor to go in. After borrowing the neighbours uh, 7 inch grinder, I now have taken everything out and prepped it so now the next step will be cleaning it out i did however damage this piece of carpet here she's a bit burnt out but i'll be replacing all this with gray interior next time i go to the wreckers so i'll give this a good clean out and sweep out and then we'll start putting the floor in here is the floor that i got from the wreckers i'll just give it a quick vacuum and it'll be going right in I forgot to film most of it, but I have now reinstalled the factory floor that would have been in the car. And so it's exactly the same as it would be normally. Other than on this side, so I'll just move all this. So on this side, I had to cut out 
some sections of it and as you can see I have access to my battery terminals and I've also cut it out under here to run the cables over to this side where the controller is and then if you pop this one up you can get to the negative terminal now it doesn't sit perfectly flat as most Subaru's floors are so I'll do some research and start building a floor for it possibly in the next video so that's all for this video, stay subscribed and uh, have a good one.